Hi, uh, good morning. Today the, um, the theme is Jing Qi Shen Shu Wu. Um, most people um, who've watched my video, What is Qi, will see that there is a like a um, circulation, a circular structure uh, to Jing Qi Shen. And basically, uh, what most people don't know um, about this uh, this circular structure is uh, we have the Jing Qi Shen. Let me just see if I can put these put these together. The three characters. Uh, there's there's Jing. There's oops, uh, there's Qi. And there's Shen. Okay. So after, for example, um, the uh, rice in the rice pot is cooking, it becomes, uh, the water becomes steam, that's like the qi. And then we said it disappears, it becomes shen. And then it reappears um, on the glass. So it's again jing. Those are the three stages of transformation, but there are actually five. Um, and they talk about this one. Try and hold it up a bit closer. Crap at this. Shu, uh, which means nothingness. Now, if we're looking at like this, if this more from a spiritual uh, point of view, we start off with um, our meditation or our Tai Chi practice, and we have our, you know, our physical form. Then we get the feeling of the mind form. And then we have the feeling of like sort of disappearing. And in the Shen part, we have the Shu, like there's nothingness. And then the next stage is we have Wu again, like Wu Wei, the same Wu, uh, second tone. And um, this Wu is uh, a nothingness which is not relative. Um, it's complete nothingness, it's complete emptiness. Um, because if we have uh, shu is means empty, it also can mean to be humble apparently. So if that gives you an idea as, as in full or empty, we have now um, empty. Um, and then wu is beyond the concept of emptiness and fullness. Um, so when you're um, looking at spiritual development or from the Chinese point of view, um, when you're practicing Qigong, when you're practicing Kung Fu Shou, when you're practicing Kung Fu, which is also a form of many types of Kung Fu, uh, forms of um, personal and personal development on all levels, you reach the level of uh, Xu Wu. So, very often they say you, you can't see the master's ability because it's very, very high. You can't notice it. Um, well, that was the goal of today, was to introduce you to the concept of uh, Jing Ji Shen Chu Wu, because most people, if they've heard, they've heard of the three treasures, they sometimes have heard of the, um, well, I'm calling them the five transformations, um, which uh, is actually very, very important. So when you're practicing your Qigong, and you start to feel qi, your mind will, if you allow your mind to continue to uh, do the Wu Wei practice, you will also reach the state of nothingness, and then later, well, the state of emptiness, and then later the state of nothingness. But obviously I'm saying emptiness as in full and empty, and nothingness as in beyond any concept. Your nature, you could say. Okay, have a wonderful day.